Hi guys, so we're right outside the toll booth right now for tonight's special Strange Behaviors Festival. It's the winter edition and we'll be bringing in some really cool artists from all around Scotland and some cool local sterling artists too. What are we waiting for? Let's go! Strange Behaviors is the biggest folk indie music festival in Stirling. This year marks a third with a wide range of acts including Beer Jacket, M Woods, Fairweather and the Elements, Scott William Urquhart, Shogun, Triptych, Jason Riddle and Pictures Trail. The variety of the acts attracts a diverse audience too. So it's one place to see all these new bands. You can just go out and have a little look and see lots of variation. It's got a really good mix in, of music, like like tonight is. It's a really eclectic mix of different styles and, and different types of music. A different genres of music in a very small space. It's yeah. really good. An intimate atmosphere is what makes this festival special and unique, which is the main characteristic of indie music, as a girl from the audience explains. Um, that you feel like really close to the artist and it's a personal connection rather than feeling kind of separated and that they're a separate or doing something without you being part of it. It feels more intimate and that there are only so many people that are really experiencing this and sharing it. And I find that at events like this, the people that are there are the right people. The Tollbooth, once a courthouse and a jail, is one of the major music and performing arts venues in Stirling. But the Tollbooth's major strength is not just a stunning panoramic view from the attic, or the spacious and cosy bar. What makes it unique is its stages, as Kenny Bates, organiser of the festival, tells us. Strange behaviours, uh, bigger events out from the rest and from a lot of other stuff that happens locally is that it's an event that's spread over three stages throughout the building. So it incorporates a bigger kind of auditorium performance space. As well as the old kind of niche and quirky stages in the building as well. It's a range of acts, both local and from like all over Scotland. A lot of the time, uh, local music kind of gets undercut um, and there's not as big a deal out of it made as there should be. And uh, things like Strange Behaviours mean a lot for the local music community. Let's meet some of them. I am Pictish Trail, that's my real name. My real name's John. Hello. Me, 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 me. I have played here a number of times. I've always played when it's been um, seated. So it's mostly been like acoustic shows. That's part of the Fence Collective and I've played with my friend James Yorkston and Withered Hand here a few times. I love like events like this where you get to experience a whole evening of music. It's really nice. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's lovely, lovely venue. But I'm quite excited to be playing here and people will be standing and not seated. <laughs> could go really bad. It could be terrible. No refunds. No refunds. other Strange Behaviors gigs in the past because we, uh, we were, we're, we're told with regulars. Where are you guys coming from? Uh, technically from Belfron, but also yeah, from, from Glasgow. Yeah. I had like four different names. Yeah, it turns out a year. And we're just like scrolling through songs and then there's a song called Triptych. We're like, that'll do. <laughs> Falkirk. We were in the main auditorium the last time. Uh, this time we're, it's a bit more intimate. Uh, like we're just finishing recording our second album just now. So like the idea is that you maybe think of a message that you're trying to get across and then break that message down into individual parts like for songs. 
and then hopefully that makes up into the big picture of the album. So. Do you have any sort of fancy rituals or lucky charms? I don't know, like, get my lucky fancy, you know, it seems a bit inappropriate. My second name's Fairweather. Who with that, a lot of the time I think with bands, you try to find a name that's going to be easily searchable, like things have changed now, so in a Google search, because we would have just maybe went with the elements, but if you just typed in the elements, you'd never find it. <laughs> Hey guys. How did it go? Good. Yeah, it was good. Really well, yeah. It's a great venue. It's, you know, and Sterling's really lucky because they've got a development officer and, you know, they've got right. folks that are actually really pushing yeah, the live totally. music side and to meet guys like Kenny and that that really know what they're doing and that want to help you. They're not trying to make money out of you or they're not trying to do anything like that. They just want to spur you on. Where are you off to now? Where are you off to? After party. So is that like? No, There's no after party for the digital media students of 4th Valley College, who had their first experience as a production crew. The students were spread all over the venue, interviewing and filming the acts and the audience. We're the roving crew. We go around asking interviews and getting box spots from the audience. We're doing stages two and three, which is called A and B on the set. We're just doing final checks during the sound check, just to make sure the volume's all right, no people that sort of thing. We are the backstage crew. We're talking to technicians and staff as well. We are currently setting up the, <laughs> the third camera as part of the multicam thing. There's one there, there's one here, and then there's one going to be up there. I feel quite calm actually about it because I'm used to doing this anyway. In case, like, unless like the camera like breaks down and the tripod just like falls or something like that, then maybe that's a worry. But we are a really confident bit of students work here. Everybody's was here on time looking enthusiastic and we just really more than anything want the students to just kind of enjoy the experience. Uh, it's going good so far, uh, there was a few issues with sound, all the cameras are running and everyone's getting good shots. So. It's going good, yeah, it's, there's loads of people here and like the atmosphere is really good so it, it makes a better filming environment for us so we're more excited to get to different angles and stuff. Now we've actually got the people in and everything's set up, we can see where we can film and stuff and Everything's actually looking better than we thought and all the lights look good and it's better than what we imagined. After eight hours of filming and interviewing, even the students leave the venue tired but satisfied. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed tonight's exclusive look at the Strange Behaviors Festival. We had a great time and I hope you did too. Bye!